Good morning, all. I hope you had a nice weekend. I did. I spent time with family, and on Saturday, I was at a park in uh, inner city Los Angeles giving out baseball mitts to the kids. As I told you, it's baseball season. Well, uh, the California Masons have a partnership with uh, the Dodgers, and what we do is uh, for every donation of 20 bucks, uh, we have a partnership with Wilson, one of the top companies that makes baseball gloves. Well, we give the baseball gloves to the kids so they can play. And uh, that's what I did on Saturday, and I'm doing it again on uh, Tuesday, tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure soon I'll be uh, hitting you guys up for donations because that'll be, uh, that'll be a big deal soon. But yeah, Masons for Mitts, that's the, that's the project. And uh, it's tied to the California Masons and my lodge. Now, we're going to get started on our reading. Okay. 494. William Jennings Bryan, no one can earn a million dollars honestly. Remember that. 495, there are very few Japanese Jews. As a result, there is no Japanese word for Alan King, Johnny Carson. I don't know if it translates so well to now, but here we are. Okay, 496, this is a little sexist, but Sophie Tucker. From birth to age 18, a girl needs good parents. From 18 to 35, she needs good looks. From 35 to 55, she needs a good personality. From 55 on, she needs cash. Okay. Lady Violet Bonham Carter, 497. Outer space is no place for a person of breeding. In other words, keep it in your pants when you're in outer space. 498, Lewis Mumford. Our national flower is the concrete clover leaf. Right. 499, I asterisked this one, which means it's an important one. Joe Ansis. The only normal people are the ones you don't know very well. I love that one. All right. 501. Unknown. Cats are like Baptists. They raise hell, but you can't catch them at it. 502. Oscar Levant. So little time and so little to do. 503. Dick Cavett. This one is asterisked as well. It's a rare person who wants to hear what he doesn't want to hear. I love that one. I love that one. It's so friggin' true. It's a rare person who wants to hear what he doesn't want to hear. We're all for the First Amendment and free speech, but for some reason we clam up when someone says something we don't want to hear. Guess what? It's the best stuff to hear because you're not in your echo chamber. Anyway, we're going to stop it at that one and uh, tell you again, as I do every day, I love you all, and I hope you're having a really nice week. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Boom.